in, in the country, even as the results start coming in. Um, so let me bring in Brian Obura. Brian is uh, in Madare. Brian, good evening. Good to see you. Um, wh what exactly is happening in Madare um, from where you sit? Thank you, Linda, and uh, good evening. Now, we're coming through from St. Teresa's Girls High School, which is the constituency tolling center of Mathare constituency. Now, it's from here where the final tolling is taking place. And if Brian, you're just able to get us a shot, there it is the returning officer, Bwana Jafet Mololo, who is announcing the results as they come in so far. Uh, in a constituency with some 171 polling stations, they have been able to receive uh, 76 of uh, those forms, 34 A's from those polling stations. Although we have information that uh, there are those polling stations which did not transmit uh, their form 34 A's from the polling uh, station, a good number of them, although voting is no longer taking place, so it's not clear. Uh, it's not very clear why that happened, although we have a number of those uh, POs all still on the line on this other end where we see they are still coming in a long queue outside of them bringing in the votes. Uh, just to give you an update of what it stands or what it looks like out here in Mathare constituency, um, with, in a constituency of some 115,559 uh, voters, we've had about uh, we've had about um, 12,000 to a total of 12,471 total votes cast today, and we also had. Uhuru Kenyatta, President Uhuru Kenyatta, who is in the lead with some 12,270. Remember, we have only some 76 polling stations that have been tallied uh, so far. And um, Raila Odinga, despite having withdrawn from the race away uh, some few days ago, he has garnered some 93 votes in this exercise as it stands right now. And uh, just to give you an update of what it has been, voting here has not been as easy, smooth and steady as one might want to think. Uh, in the morning we had uh, police involved, uh, police engage youths in some running battles around and uh, uh, KTN News witnessed some low turnout. In fact, as early as 10 a.m., uh, from Jafet Mololo, the returning officer, had uh, told us that the turnout only stood at 20 at 10 in the morning. Uh, of course, uh, this having been perceived, this being perceived to, to be uh, an, uh, an opposition stronghold, uh, it seems like uh, there was a he, they were heading to that call to boycott from uh, the elections. Now, we also had some running battles all over, like I've mentioned. Actually, a police officer was injured earlier in the day when a stone was hurled at him from a demonstrator who was uh, standing on um, a rooftop demonstrator, so to speak. So it has not been very smooth. The rain has also the rain also disturbed, uh, rather um, uh, disturbed those who wanted to vote, who were eagerly willing uh, to vote. We had roads being barricaded, and uh, so far so good. We can say that. Uh, what is happening right now at, in Mathare constituency, final tallying is taking place, but those were the events of the day, not an easy day, so to speak, Linda. Brian, talk to me about the kind of security that's on the ground, because initially there was concern about the security around IBC officials, even as uh, they conduct this repeat presidential poll. Linda, I didn't get the second part of uh, your question, but I heard you talk about security. And so just to comment, right now, if um, when we were coming in, there's, uh, there's a contingent of police officers, most of them drawn from, uh, most of them drawn from uh, the administration uh, police. They are all over here, a number of trucks outside. When we were coming on the road, there's, uh, there's, uh, there's security. There's, uh, there are police officers all over. So there's that concern being considering what happened during the day, there has been uh, I don't know whether it has been a redeployment or how, how I can describe it, but there have been a lot of police officers uh, even up to this hour within Mathare constituency. Brian, thank you so much. Keep an eye on what's happening there for us. Um, we'll see if we can um, cross over to you later. Um, I understand you guys woke up very early in the morning to do this, but thank you all the same.